Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have the viral Facebook intelligence test. This problem was shared all over Facebook, and all the person had to do was look at this image, and it said, share if you understand. Now, I think a lot of people just shared this picture without actually solving it or knowing how to solve it, but by sharing it, it showed that they understood this and therefore were intelligent. So I'm gonna pose this to you. This problem here, if you understand this problem, please actually share this video. But only do so if you actually understand how this works. So I'm going to give you a moment now to look at this problem and see if you actually understand how this problem works. So pause this video and take a look at it. Now if you're impatient like most people and you just want to keep on watching, let's just move on forward. So the first thing I'm noticing here is that we have a six plus four equals a two, 10. And I'm trying to find patterns with the numbers here. Now notice six plus four equals the 10. So for the last two digits, what do we see? Well, a six plus four gives me the 10. A nine plus two, really just rewriting this, gives me the last two digits, which are 11. Eight plus five, gives me the last two digits, which is a 13, and five plus two is the seven. Six plus seven is, or seven plus six, flip that around, is the 13, nine plus eight equals a seven. <laughs> 17 times seven, 17. A 10 plus six equals a 16, and lastly, if I know my basic algebra, 15 plus three is an 18. So we kind of can see a pattern that happens with the last two digits. But what about the first one or two digits? Now notice sometimes we have a four digit number here, so we'd have two digits or just one digit. So the first one or two digits, what's happening? What do we see? Six and a four give us the two. Nine and two give us a seven. Eight and five give us a three. I'm thinking subtraction. A six minus a four gives me the two. A nine minus the two gives us a seven here. An eight minus the five gives me a three. A five minus a two also gives me the three. The seven minus a six is just good old one. And nine minus an eight also is a good old one there. A 10 minus a six is a four. And a 15 minus a three is that 12. So yeah, we can understand the pattern, but how can we write this in, well, algebraic ways? So what is our rule here? Well, we see this as, let's say our first number here, six is an A, plus the second number, let's call that a B. What is that equal? Well, right in terms, we have our first digits there, first ones here, sorry, <laughs> is an A minus a B, and we're gonna combine that with, with the last two digits, which will be a A plus a B. And there I would say, if you understand this rule, you understand this problem. Did you get it? Did you share this video? If you did, well, thanks. I'm gonna show you how to solve this specific problem. <clears throat> this problem was brought all over I want to see if you can solve this and actually understand this problem and if you do know how to do it. So I'm going to give you a moment to look at this problem and see if you can figure out how this works. And uh, so for the last two digits, or so for the last two digits, I can't speak right last two digits, Sean. A nine minus a seven, sorry. <laughs> uh, wrong way there, Sean. A seven minus six also gives me the 11. <sighs> That's what happens when you just zip through this. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video. This helps us make more of these fun videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.